and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. Sorry about my clashing prints, but I'm freezing. Uh, today I'm doing the book jacket tag. So I saw um, Katie from Books and Things do this tag and I thought, hey, I'm going to do that tag. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to get started now. And the first question is a book that you bought purely because of the cover. And that book is Zadie Smith on Beauty. Now I absolutely love this cover. It is bashed around because I've re reread it so many times. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all this sort of like, I think they call it Baroque, like stuff here and it goes into the font and then there's the outline of a woman's face also in it which you might not be able to see it's quite discreet so that's in the darker around here and it's an outline of a woman's face and I am so glad that I saw this and thought and I remember where I was I was in Tesco with my nan and um, I saw that I was like that is a beautiful book it was from 2005 um, and I, I bought it and I'm so glad I did because it's actually become one of my favorite books now it's absolutely beautiful and the insides are nice and everything very very good and I'm pleased I bought it. I'm pleased I'm so shallow that I bought a book just based on its cover. Um, number two is your favourite book cover series. So I've got two favourite book cover series and they're not necessarily because of the beautifulness of the book cover but they're, they're, they're my favourite because of the way they make me feel when I see them. So the first lot is uh, Northern Lights, so the, um, the dark his Dark Materials trilogy um, by Philip Pullman and these just remind me of my youth. <laughs> well actually they remind me of university because I bought the, my, I got the first one bought for me by my friend Dolores, there she is, she's written in there, um, and then I just quickly bought these um, in succession. I actually got these from charity shops so this was bought for me as a gift and then these I think were like one ninety nine in the charity shop. Um, and I just love the front covers and I love the, I love the colour of the um, front covers so I love the blue, the red and the orange and I like the fact that when you read this book you can then come back and look at this and be like oh yeah I know these bits on this and the same with this guy and not so much with the amber spyglass but I love the the background of that the the landscape in it and I just think they're really really beautiful and like understated and I love that the um that this matches it's just really small things but I love that the font of the author matches the um the front of the cover and I just love them the other set is of course Harry Potter but I mean like the original covers so I've got a couple of um of new covers now I've got the illustrated edition which may or may not be turning up a bit later on um, and my boyfriend's got a set and I actually bought my, my um, dad and my sister a set but I love the original covers I've picked the two my two favourites here which are um, The Goblet of Fire and The Half-Blood Prince and these both I've lost the dust jacket because I can't read a book with a dust jacket on but I, when I look at these I just it just brings out especially this one feelings of such excitement and the first time I got them I was like oh my god they're so big and so exciting and I just love I love them. I love the front covers purely for that reason, and this font just screams Harry Potter at me. So those two as well. Um, a cover design that really annoys you. Now I really can't think of one. I've been through all my books on my shelf, and I honestly I cannot think of one cover design that really annoys me. One of the things I've done that really annoys me is I've bought books on my Kindle, which I've then gone and seen a beautiful, and I'm like you idiot why didn't you buy this <laughs> why didn't you buy the goldfinch in real life because it's so beautiful and there's a few few books like that i've got the great gatsby on my kindle and i see so many beautiful copies of it in fact you know what? i'm just gonna probably buy one but um that's something i do that annoys me but nothing to do with changes in book series but something to do with book covers that annoys me is the fact that i've bought pretty good books on my kindle which i could then own uh, number four is name a book where you prefer a different country's cover. So I'm going to name the country's cover that I prefer is the UK's cover. And that is the UK's cover of The Grace Keepers by um, Kirsty Logan. So this is absolutely beautiful. It's got a bear and it's got our little character North here. And then it's just got loads and loads of like little silvery sparkly bits. And the, the font is just beautiful. And then it's got our other character. Um, oh my goodness me, I've forgotten her name. Callanish. Callanish um, on the back here and it's just an absolutely beautiful beautiful book the end papers are gorgeous as well this is a library copy um, but the end papers are gorgeous as well they're like a um, a map but I've seen the US copy because I did this as a buddy read with Brittany from um, Under the Radar Books and she owns this but got the library got a copy out from the library because she didn't want to damage her UK copy and I'll put a um, picture of the US cover which is still okay but it's nowhere near as beautiful as this um, number five is name a book where the cover does not represent what the story is about. So I picked Kate Atkinson, Life After Life, because I think this cover is naff. I saw this in the shop long, long before it came out. 
well, long, long, I say it's 2013. I remember this coming out in the shops and thinking, God, why is there so much hype about this book? That cover is absolutely naff. And I still think it's really, really crap. But, and I don't ever remember there being a fox in there. Is there a fox in it? Am I missing this massive part? But this is an amazing book. This was one of my favourite books of last year. Um, I absolutely thought it was amazing. And yeah, this cover I just don't think represents what's going on in this book. There's so much going on in this book, I can't even begin to tell you. But it's basically about a woman who has a second chance at life a number of times over. So it's like, a w she dies. But then what happens if she didn't die? And that sort of thing. But I don't remember there being a fox in there. And maybe I'm just making an absolute fool of myself. Because maybe they'll be like, Lauren, the fox was the main thing in there. But I don't remember there being a fox in there. So I wouldn't... I only read this because we had it for my book club. I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. And I'm so glad I did. Because, as I said, favourite book, one of my favourite books from last year. Um, number six is a book with an exciting blurb that turned out to be an underwhelming book. So I'm going to pick, and I'm sure this is a very, very popular book with quite a lot of people, and I'm going to pick The Secret History by Donna Tart. So I read this for my um, workbook club a few years ago. I remember it coming out of the pot and look, reading the blurb and thinking, oh my god, this is going to be amazing. Well, I was just bored. It really bored me. And it's not because I, I don't like Donna Tart. The Goldfinch is one of the most amazing books ever. Um, and I absolutely love that book. But The Secret History, I just did not get on with it at all. And yeah, I was just so disappointed because I really thought it's going to be something I really, really loved. And I just found it a bit, I don't know, boring. The word I'm looking for is boring. Um, number seven, a book you picked up because of an interesting or intriguing title. So I was in Waterstones in Canterbury and I saw this, The Edible Atlas, Around the World in 39 Cuisines by Mina Holland. So I love eating and I love maps. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness me, that is something I definitely, definitely want. And I actually put it on my Christmas list and I got it for Christmas. It's on my um, book shelf. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. But I saw that and I was like, I don't even care what that's about. I love the title and I love the front cover as well, actually. Um, so I ended up putting it on my Christmas list just purely based on the title and the cover so that's something else that's pretty uh pretty fickle of me Ooh. and the last part of the tag is show off your top five book covers i'm gonna have some refreshments and then i'll get there so my top five book covers are the first one is a book i didn't actually particularly love i didn't mind it when i read it but i didn't love it but that i love 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 the book cover and that is the bees by leyline paul i adore this book cover and sometimes I just like to look at it which is a bit sad but sometimes I actually just get this off get this off the shelf and have a good look at it because I absolutely love it I love the yellow I don't own many books and I think this bright yellow is so effective and it doesn't look naff like it has potential to look crap but it doesn't I love the gold honeycombs on it I love this little honey guy this little bee guy I love the black font I just think it is perfection in a book cover. I absolutely love it. And I remember when I got when I bought this and it arrived, I was like, this is going to be amazing! And then I was a bit disappointed in the story. It wasn't disappointed. I just wasn't as good as I hoped it could be, just based on the book cover. But that, as a paperback, I think that's absolutely beautiful. The next one is Love Letters of Great Men. Uh, and this is a series of... I didn't even tell you what that book was about. It's about anthropomorphised bees. It's about anthropomorphized bees. Uh, then the next one is Love Letters of Great Men, and this is just a collection of love letters from famous people. So John Keats is one here. Just having a look through who else we've got. William F. Testament, and I, I think... I can't remember why I picked this up. I've got a feeling it might have been something to do with the Sex and the City movie, and if it is, I'm really, really sorry. But um, I love this. I love the cover of it. I love the little love hearts and the little love hearts underneath. The end pages are this gorgeous burgundy, and the book underneath is also a gorgeous burgundy. And look at that, that spine is just beautiful. And yeah, it's just a really, really pretty, lovely, nice sized book. Lovely, and it feels really nice. It feels like, feels quality. This next book is an absolute bargain. Um, I haven't read this yet either, but um, a friend of mine read um, The Poisonwood Bible by The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver, which I haven't read, but um, I work at a hospital and they have a volunteer's desk where they sell a lot of second-hand books. So as I walked past, I saw this beautiful thing stood up for one pound. So this cost me a pound. It's an absolute perfect nick. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what it's about or anything. All I've heard is that Barbara Kingsolver's book, The Poisonwood Bible, is very, very good and I should give it a go. So I will actually get round to trying this. But the, the book itself is just beautiful. It's got all this gold font on here and there. And it's got like flowers made out of what looks like newspapers or books or something. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. And for a pound, it's beautiful. It's just sitting on my bookshelf. I will get round to reading it at some point. The next one is The Novel Cure, an A to Z of Literary Remedies. Um, this is a book I bought myself. I absolutely love this. I 
turns out I love bright stuff. So I love the font on this, the fact that it's bright, bright orange uh, um, on the back of the grey, even more so on that spine because it's a darker grey so it pops out really nice. And the end papers, don't even let me get started on the end papers. Look, they're absolutely gorgeous. So this is a book, it's a sort of novelty gift for someone who likes reading. So it's, it's sort of set out like a, a medical dictionary or medical encyclopedia so that, so these old fashioned books where you, if you're feeling like this, there is a chance you could have this. So it's set out like that, but it's, so for instance, if you've got man flu, then it gives you like all this chat about here and it tells you your cure for man flu, which would be to read Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. There's some few other things, so like Paranoia, um, you should <laughs> you should read The Crying of Lot 49 by Thomas Pynchon, and it's just really, 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 really fun, lovely little book. Sibling Rivalry, if you're suffering from that, it gives some, um, it just gives some um, recommendations for that, and I just, I think it's a lovely book, it's just absolutely gorgeous, and I love the, the cover. And the last one, because goodness me, I couldn't do a book with that, I couldn't do a book covers tag, without showing you Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the, the uh, illustrated edition, which I got for my birthday. Absolutely beautiful. This picture inside is one of my favourite um, pictures in the book. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is a massive look. So this one is here. De -de -de -de. And the end papers are gorgeous. They're of Hogwarts. Ah! And it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I've actually done a video just talking about how much I love this, which I will link below. So that is my book jacket tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed looking at all these beautiful books and now I've got to enjoy putting them all back on my shelves again. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So if I don't know how many people have done this now because this I think this tag's been around quite a while. So if you're watching this and you'd like to do it, then just do it because I'm not going to tag anyone because I think quite a lot of people have done it already and I'm not quite sure who has. But I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a comment below and tell me if you like my books. Do you like my books? Um, and also tell me if you own any beautiful books or any books that are worth trying out and should I read The Lacuna by Barbara Kingsolver because all I've just done is bought a beautiful book and I will see you all again on Sunday for another booktube video.